Welcome back, my name is Teresa, and I am very much already made up. Surprise! <laughs> I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth, where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. I know. Can you blame me? <laughs> If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all, I just wanted to do a get ready with me. I haven't done one in a bit and I just felt like putting on some makeup, talking about weird things and just going on my merry way. So if you're not familiar with me or my channel, basically when I do get ready with me is I don't really discuss the product too much. I might throw in a couple of little thoughts here and there, but for the most part, this is purely me just getting out all my frustrations in life in a video format. <laughs> if you want to see reviews on these products, definitely let me know down in the comments and I'll be more than happy to do so. But rest assured, I pretty much, I believe everything that I'm going to be using today, I will be doing a review on. If you do not like these types of videos, that's totally fine. I'll catch you in the next one. But for those that just enjoy me being weird, enjoy. It's a weird one. Hi, welcome. I'm so fresh faced. All right, listen, I had a lot of expectations for this week and then it just did not happen. <laughs> Let's talk about it. If you're probably saying like, why am I looking down? I got one of these, oh, you see that? I got one of these fun mirrors. What was it, simple human mirrors? Honestly, it was a splurge that I was like, you know what, I work hard. <laughs> need a fancy mirror and I have to thank Happy Meanie for that because she's the one that kind of put me onto this mirror and it's fantastic super fantastic I've had other mirrors in the past that were like light up LED mirrors nothing is as terrifying as this because two things one as soon as you approach like your face approaches it it lights up funny thing about it sometimes this kind of goes on its own like it lights up and I have heard that sometimes it does that I like to think it's the ghost in here you know but Hey, what do I know? Anyway, this is amazing. If you're going to splurge on anything this year, I feel like like a big ticket item, definitely invest in tools. That would be my motto of 2021, invest in tools. Invest in good brushes and invest in things that actually help you do your makeup properly because I feel like this has helped me do my eyebrows better. Also, can I say thank you by the way? Because <laughs> I feel like I know I mentioned it in the beauty resolutions video where I was like, I just want to get better at it. <laughs> there was so many people in the comments that were like, dumbass. First of all, your eyebrows should never be identical, okay? Because it's just not possible. Also, your eyebrows should look like sisters and not the incestual kind. So I was like, you know what? That fucking makes sense. Oh my God. I feel like y'all have unlocked me. I was a princess in a tower. I let my hair down and now I'm free to roam the land and be the best bitch I could possibly be. So thank you for that. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why that like, you know, people in your actual real life that you know, you know, they could say the same thing to you and it doesn't mean anything. But when you go online and you ask a bunch of fucking people, somehow their opinion matters a hell of a lot more than the people you know in your real life. So with that said, thank you my little garbage cans. I fucking appreciate it. Priming the eyes, I'm, you know, I wanna just take it easy today. I'm just gonna use my NARS Soft Matte. We're gonna do one eye and then we'll do the other eye off camera because we don't have time for that. Also, I put my hair up, I feel like I'm still dealing with fucking build up dry scalp. So if you see that, I'm human, go fuck yourself. I'm not perfect. If you want someone perfect, go fucking watch anybody else. But you're here because deep down inside, you're garbage just like me. Remember that. Anyway. Eyeshadow palettes, I have a shitload of them. I just got the Adept Cosmetics Plain Jane palette somewhere over here. I got some new ones from Alter Ego. I got some e.l.f. shit. But you know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna stick with this one. This is the Antiquity palette from, I, f I can't say their name, Nocetics. No set tax. I don't know why it's so difficult for me to say the name. Nocetics. Nocetics? No set tax. I don't know what the, if that matters. But anyway, this palette's made in the USA. I think No set tax. No set tax. <laughs> I think they're a Canadian brand. I picked this up because I saw this in a makeup bingo and my makeup dick literally was like hard as fuck. So I was like, all right, I gotta go pick this up. Ordered it, took forever to get here, which whatever, that's usually the case for indie products. Not gonna complain about that. 
Once the uh, carrier pigeon did come <laughs> and bring this to me, the packaging is absolutely stunning. It's so lovely. It's so well made. It has a nice weight to it. And the shadows are motherfucking pigmented as all hell. I have not used this on my face. I have only touched it. And touching it, my makeup dick bitch was hot for days. So I'm super fucking excited to play with it today. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do like something very simple. I'm not gonna go too crazy. Honestly, I just wanna chill. I just wanna talk because I had a lot of a lot of plans for this week and it just, um, it didn't really turn out that way. And I feel like I do that and I'm the one that kind of jinx myself a little bit, which sucks. You're so fucking pigmented as fuck by the way. Damn bitch. Nothing hurts my ass more when, <laughs> I don't know why that just made me laugh. <laughs> when you have something that's so pigmented in swatch and then it's literally like a, a ball wash of colors and you're like, what is this? This bitch is pigmented. And this is not even the pressed pigment of the palette. I'm not even gonna fuck with that one today. In a future review, I'll talk about that one, but right now we're just gonna keep it, keep it classy, keep it simple. Keep it classy, that is something I will never do. So uh, yeah, my, my disappointments, let's talk about that a little bit. <laughs> have high hopes to do stuff like cool stuff for this channel and one I always appreciate everybody one always has like really awesome feedback for me that's one two is always really patient with me because my videos like as much as I want to do a set schedule bitch that just does not happen because as you know this is not my full-time job I have a full-time job that sucks the soul out of my body and through my asshole let's just say it's not a create it's a creative job <laughs> Not a creative job. That's that's when you know I've I've hit it on another level when I'm saying words like creative weird. <sighs> Do I say camera weird? Okay, so creatively, it's not a really glamorous job, um, but you know, whatever, who cares? This I love doing because one, I get to make a fucking fool of myself on the internet. And uh, you know, it's just fun. It's harmless fun. I'm not hurting anybody. This is just a good old fashioned, let's just be boys here. You know what I mean? Like, like listen, we're, we're all just boys. <laughs> We're all gross boys that talk about our makeup dicks and our just love and admiration for when things are really hot and slutty. And that's all I want to do. That's all I want to, I want to carve my little special place on the internet as that. And I really appreciate that y'all let me do that. And again, thank you for being so patient because as much as I want to post every day or every other day or whatever, it's just not physically possible because of, you know, work and other engagements and shit like that. I did dead miss in December because uh, I just thought everyone else is doing it. And if someone told me to go jump off a bridge, I might as well join them because I don't think for myself. And I was actually kind of really like pumped to do it because one, it kind of put me on this timeline, this really tight timeline. I got to create a bunch of fun videos in a very short amount of time. And I got to edit and I got to like just be, I don't know, just do a lot of creative fucking fun shit. Not so much the content, but probably like editing and whatever. Like I really enjoy editing and I hope y'all enjoy how I edit too because uh, I find a lot of like makeup content is not super fun in the editing department because it's just like, you know, you're just talking about a product or whatever. So that's why like I try to make it a little bit different, you know, not to knock anybody or whatever. It's just like everything kind of is the same after a while. So I try to do some things a little bit differently than others. I had like a really awesome time doing like Dead Miss or like my version of it anyway. So I was like, oh my God, you know, January, why don't I fucking recapture that magic bitch and do one week of just talking about indie makeup because not a lot of, or I guess like more mainstream brands have been releasing anything this past month, but I do have a shitload of indie stuff that I purchased around the holidays that I haven't really had time to do a video yet. So I figured, fuck it, like this would be a great, great time to kind of, you know, talk and play with some stuff and whatever, like this is gonna be fun. And I mentioned it in a makeup bingo, cause I was like, yes. And I think that's what my downfall was, is that I mentioned it. And I know I said like, hey, no guarantees or whatever, but I got really excited and thinking that like, oh my God, this is actually something that I could potentially do. And no, it didn't really happen that way because work got busy. All that to say, I still want to do this whole indie week, but I just don't think it's possible for right now. I think I'm just going to never announce it when I have the ability to do it and I have everything lined up just 
just fucking just do it. And in that way, I don't disappoint anyone or myself with it because Indie Week just sounds like fun. I've been trying to do more indie brands because I think the mainstream brands have been sucking ass lately. Actually not lately, like for a while now. So it's time to shed some light on some smaller companies that actually make banging ass fucking products. And you know, people are kind of like hesitant about spending their money because either shipping's expensive or the product is expensive. And you know, people are like, I don't know if I want to invest in that because I can't always return things. But yeah, so I'm happy to be a guinea pig. <laughs> All that to say, I'm happy to be a guinea pig. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter glue and I'm gonna use a, one of the shimmers. Let's see how this works. So far the mattes in this palette are fantabulous. But ooh, this looks pigmented. Ooh, that's motherfucking satisfying. That's fun, holy shit. Ooh, that feels so good. And there's like barely any fallout. We didn't do a wear time on this, but just kind of like based off of this, don't sleep on this brand. <laughs> like this is actually fucking really nice. So yeah, that's what's kind of going on with me. It's actually funny because, <laughs> yeah, whatever. My mom won't mind that I'm talking in this story because my mom is actually taking my stepdad to go get the vaccination today. But I had the weirdest 25 minute conversation with them. So I might as well just share it with y'all. Oh my God, Ashley, fucking hold on one second. You know what? No, no, no. Let me finish the other eye and I'm going to come back. We're going to start with this. Call this video uh, the get ready with me a little bit all over the place because I know I don't have ADHD, but today I feel like I do. And a lot of weird shit just happened. But hold on. I'll be right back. Hi. I feel like I'm very elongated. Sorry, that took a little bit longer than I would like. No fault to the palette. <laughs> I was uh, listening to The Middle Ground, which if you don't know, that's a podcast for my daughter, Smokey Glow, and her soon-to-be husband, Charles. Or I guess my son-in-law, right? <laughs> anyway, I was listening to their podcast and I was like, oh fuck, I gotta do a video. What are we doing? Like, Hannah, pause. Okay, before I even get into anything, so last night, all right, you ever get this way where... <laughs> Do I even say that? Do I even tell you that I had an ass explosion? So I had an ass explosion yesterday. Don't worry, just come take a walk with me on this journey. I think I, I had some ramen, didn't really agree with me too well. But anyway, whatever, ramen was so delicious. Middle of the night, my stomach is all rumbly. I'm like, oh, oh no. Oh no. So I'm in the bathroom, whatever. You know, you, you, you were all adults here, okay? And I'm like half asleep just letting it all release out of me. You ever get one of those moments where you're like, all right, I'm good. Like I'm literally empty. Like my tank's on empty. I'm ready to go back to bed. So you go back to bed and then you're something's like, uh-uh, bitch, we're going for a round two recipe. And you're like, fuck. So I grab my phone this time. Cause I'm like, well, I don't know how long I'm going to be there. So I might as well just entertain myself on Twitter. This is like at 1.30 in the morning. Not even joking. I'll play this for you. Someone called me. <laughs> I don't know who, but it came up as an unknown number. And I left a voicemail. Let's see if you can hear it. You need to cut that shit out. You need to cut it out. I'm gonna play it one more time, so just in case you didn't hear, and I'll put subtitles. You need to cut that shit out. You need to cut it out. So I immediately wake up, and I'm like, first of all, is it a coincidence that I'm shitting my brains out? Now I have an iPhone. The iPhone is awesome because it has this feature that I never noticed before. And I don't know, maybe it's um, maybe it's something that happened within maybe the last upgrade because I have the newer phone, which by the way, me and Mel Thompson have the same case. <laughs> Sorry. Where you can actually silence callers you don't know. So any sort of like unwanted spam callers, which has been great. So all my calls that I have ever gotten in the past for Keisha or what was the fucking, what's the other one? Oh my God, I can't remember the fucking name, but it was some other lady. Is it Abdullah? Oh, it's gonna kill me. Anyway, I was also getting like calls from fucking Toyota <laughs> for that person and then Reliant Capital. So because I switched that on, I barely get any like weird calls. Like it'll notify me that someone's calling, but if they do leave a voicemail, it's like always very spammy. Like, oh, your car warranty is up and blah, blah, blah. Like it's all bullshit. Like nothing, nothing amazing. But I was so 
beside myself that <laughs> I don't know who this woman is. And I was just thinking to myself, oh my God, it was like such a weird moment. I'm literally in the bathroom and this lady's telling me to cut my shit. <laughs> I thought it was fucking hilarious. But then I kind of got me thinking after I kind of like had that weird like, oh my God moment. It's like, who the fuck is this lady fucking talking to? I almost wish they like the number was there because I totally would have, <laughs> I totally would have called back and been like, I don't, I don't think you mean me. I don't think you mean me, sweetie. By the way, this is Hollywood Flawless Filter. I just feel like fucking my face up with this today. I don't know why. I look terrifying. Oh. I kind of wish she left her number because I had so many questions. Like, who are you talking about? Is this for Keisha? I don't know. Oh God. Or the other lady that I can't remember her fucking name. Rody Row. <laughs> there was someone who was looking for a Rody Row once. I was like, what? <laughs> that was fucking fun, right? Where was I? Oh yeah, my mom. <sighs> Actually, before I do that, we're gonna use some Chantecai here. So I have the Future Skin Cushion Foundation. Thank you Chantecai for sending this to me. I love your face. And I realized that I've been getting the wrong color in things. I've been getting Alabaster, which I guess is my summer shade. So this is Aura, which is actually the lightest shade out of this foundation. I like it. You do get a little sponge tippy boy. I don't know, like this feels a lot harder to do. Like I'm pressing down, but maybe that's my poor application skill. I love the fuck out of this fucking foundation because it has the um, natural skin appearance, which I love natural finishes. It sets down so beautifully. This is definitely light, 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 light coverage. So I know the price tag is a little steep. So if you don't like light coverage or like a light medium coverage at best, I don't recommend this. But if you're like me and you don't mind having a couple of your little skin imperfect, wow, I look like a ghost. Don't worry, we're gonna warm this face up, don't worry. God, this is what I normally look like. Ooh. So if you don't like having like little, like your skin, like little redness kind of poking through, again, I don't recommend this but this is lovely. I think mix with this, with a little bit of like a high coverage concealer, I'm happy. And I found that this foundation was mask proof. So of course I'm gonna do like a bite sized video about it, cause this is like my third or fourth time playing with it. But this, it's so nice. We feel like an ice princess. Okay, so yeah, you notice I do have a little bit of red poking through. Mm. Actually, let's see if we can just try to cover that part up. My face is like oddly, it's not like rosacea red, but just when I touch my skin in certain spots, just likes to, it just likes to stay red. I don't understand. But I love makeup that I can put a mask on as I'm going outside for the few moments that I do. And it always stays in place. So today we're actually gonna be using something new. And this is from Koki. Koki actually sent me a couple of things. So thank you, Koki. Love your face. And this is the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. I've never tried Koki Complexion products. So this should be fun. Oh, it feels quite lovely. What were they talking about before? Oh yeah, my mom. Coverage is a little bit light, but let's just try to build up just a little bit. Oh, I like that, okay. We like that. So my mom called me earlier and she was asking me like, hey, my job sent me a work laptop, can you help me set it up? So I haven't seen my mom in a, in a hot man. Like we didn't spend the holidays together, unfortunately because we were both fearful. So she's still commuting into the city every now and again for her job. Fucking love that goddamn blur powder. So goddamn good. All right, we're gonna go in with this Charlotte Tilbury number. Anyway, so I haven't really seen my mom, like I mentioned, because she's still kind of commuting into the city. We, uh, yeah, just haven't seen each other. So moral of the story is I miss my mom. I just miss my mom. She calls me because she wants to, you know, me to figure out her tech issues. She always calls me to do that. It's just, it's fucking inevitable. I spent, I don't know, about 25 minutes on the phone with her. She first starts telling me, okay, so this button right here, we're on a phone call. I don't know how to turn my laptop on. Like, how do you turn this laptop on? I can't see you. Oh, yeah, 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 right, 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 right. Okay, so the button is square. It has a symbol on it. Let me just FaceTime you. <laughs> oh, okay, sure, 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 okay. My mom is cute because when she does FaceTime, she's like this, hey. Hey. Like I literally see up her fucking brain and she's like, hey, Tipu. She calls me Tipu. So I don't know how to open this. Like, how do I open this? Can you flip me the other way? 
okay. So she like takes the phone and she's doing this. <laughs> I don't like, you're showing me the microwave. She's in the kitchen. So like you're showing me the microwave. Oh yeah, that's the microwave you got us. You like it? Mom, I'm telling you, you're showing me the microwave. I'm, I'm trying to look for the laptop. Oh, okay, okay. And like she's pointing it up at the ceiling and, and she's like, do you, so you, do you see the button? I said, mom, no. I still see the ceiling, like, can you flip the phone back and then there's a button, it's like a circle, like click that, it'll flip to the other camera. There's two cameras? Yes, there's two cameras. So now I'm in like a five minute conversation with her because she was like, what do you mean there's, so wait, the camera's this over here? Yes, it's over here. Okay, okay. So finally she like gets it to her face. She's like, oh, you see me. Yes, flip it together. Okay. Okay, so you see everything. Yeah, so she's showing me the keyboard. And then she like, she just, her phone just starts trailing away. And I see now the floor. So I just hear her go, huh. And I'm like, uh, mom, what happened? Oh, sorry, news is on, I got distracted. Uh, so what button is it? I'm looking at the fucking floor. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. So she brings me back to the keyboard. And this is where I stay for the next fucking 10 minutes as I'm trying to understand what button she's pressing. Also, I think I bronzed the fuck out of my face, but you know, I'm not mad about it. Give my double chin some definition. What do I wanna do? Do I want to use the rare, oh God, do I want to use rare beauty blush? I don't really like it all that much. It's not fucking fun. It's annoying. Glowing review. The problem is it doesn't have a good longevity. So in like literally two hours, it's fucking gone. And I hate that. Just so you see what I'm talking about. We're going to use the shade Nearly Apricot. It's a shame because it's very pretty. Not that cute also has a tendency of disturbing the fucking foundation and the powder underneath. So you kind of like have to not jam your face. Like you have to be very light handed with it, but still kind of fucking picks shit up. How about I do it one side and then we could do the elf with the other side. And I'm a little blush heavy today. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, like I just don't like how it sits on the skin. You know what, when in doubt, just put more on your face. All right, it's a little better. I don't know. I'm like, eh. Like sometimes I'm like, no, but then sometimes I'm like, all right, like it's not bad, but fucking, ugh. But on the other side, we're gonna use e.l.f. and this is gonna be a completely, totally different fucking color. You know what, can we see if I can try to match this shit so it doesn't look that bad? You know what, let's do this one. I didn't open this one up. This is the Turks and Keiko blush. The only thing that really sucks about the e.l.f. ones, it literally doesn't have the shade name on it. It's stupid, but. I like it though. And the one brush I could totally recommend is their putty brush. This is fun. This is so much fun. Okay, I have to uh, swirl, swirl, swirl. Put on the back of my hand. I like this one because it doesn't pick up the foundation underneath. So even under some like powder, it still looks relatively really nice. It doesn't break away like it does on the other side. I don't know. I feel very 80s. I'm helping her fix her laptop and stuff like that. Do you think this is gonna take a long time? Bitch, why? Do you have somewhere to fucking be? Well, yeah. We're gonna take your stepfather to go get vaccinated. Now, my mom got her first round of vaccinations and now today my stepfather was eligible to go get it done. And so that's what they're doing today. My stepfather, love him to pieces, but <laughs> he's a hypochondriac. <laughs> so when my mom got the first dose of the COVID vaccine, oh, my arm kind of hurts. And then my stepfather was like, oh, my arm is killing me. It's about to fall off. But he never got the shot. So anytime there's some sort of like medical thing happening he automatically is you know hypochondriac <laughs> love him the pieces but he's a hypochondriac so i was like oh my god you know is he nervous or whatever and she's like no he's actually very excited because he just you know much like everybody like we just want this to be fucking over we want to go on with our lives here we're just tired of you know the uncertainty of everything we start talking and uh my stepfather then comes in and he was like oh we got a bunch of masks. Do you want us to send you some masks? Oh, which by the way, I'm gonna pop this in here. A company reached out to me, Humankind. They reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try out their mask. And I said, yeah, absolutely. Because I heard good things and I heard my good friend here, Kate the Great, she really enjoyed the mask. And I was like, you know what, let's just try it. Anyway, I really enjoyed their mask. And they said like, hey, if you really do like them, you're more than welcome to be an affiliate. And I was like, okay, sure. So if you are interested in checking out these masks, I do have a code, it's garbage. Love these fucking masks. Hold on, let me get one. This is a size large. I find that these are one, super comfortable. They don't tug on my ears, which is perfect. They also cover my double chin. We fucking love that on this channel. And they just feel so nice and comfortable on the face. Now, I am a mouth breather, but I notice like I don't have any makeup on my face. It doesn't transfer. 
literally pressing it into my fucking face. And this stays relatively clean. Yeah, there might be a little bit of fucking transfer, but very tiny compared to like the paper masks or some cloth masks that I have. And my foundation looks like it's undisturbed, which we fucking love. Anyway, they were kind enough and they actually sent me two, but I've been really just utilizing the one. I have a big fucking face. <laughs> So this is a size large and I think, is this in gray? Yeah, so I asked for gray and black cause I'm, you know, goth. And these are just, ah. Oh. First of all, I feel like a fucking Mortal Kombat character. Yes, bitch. They're so fucking, they're so comfortable. If you were interested in checking out these masks, which if you go to the website, they'll have a lot more information about them. They're antibacterial. They actually clean also very easily. But if you are interested, you can save 15% off if you use the code <sighs> garbage. I'm definitely gonna be utilizing my code later today because I'm gonna be getting one for my mom and my stepdad because they just feel so fucking nice on the face. The paper mask after a while just, I don't know, like I just don't like how it sits on my face. And sometimes the cloth masks, after washing them sometimes, like they can have like fuzzies and shit like that, which is really fucking annoying. These just feel really nice. So thank you, humankind, for hooking me up. I really fucking appreciate that. Anyway, what was my point of this fucking story? My stepdad was telling me, well, he got on to the FaceTime or whatever, and he was telling me that the neighbors behind their house gave them a bunch of masks. Right? And then my mom said, Oh yeah, like I didn't get to properly thank him. I had to run. I'm like, what are you talking about? By the way, before I even finish that, I have two highlighters I'm gonna play with today. We have the Catrice one, which is pretty new, more than glow highlighter. And then we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Iced Out. So I'm excited for both. Yes, I'm a clown, I purchased this. I regret nothing, bitch, nothing. All right, I'm gonna use this little Charlotte Tilbury one for this side. We'll do the Anastasia on this side and we'll do Catrice on this one. Anyway, so she's like, oh, I had to run. Take two, let's try a different brush. <laughs> It did nothing. Oh, oh, kind of, kind of. What is this ball pit of color? Oh, it's kind of yellow. Mm, I don't know if I like that. Hold on. Sometimes nothing beats a dollar brush from Shop Miss A. Huh. You know? Okay. Picking up on a brush, it doesn't really do much, but like with my finger, it's a little bit better, but like I'm not in love with it. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Mm -mm. I was hoping that it was gonna be like more like the Amorese one, you know? That was kind of a little bit disappointing. It's beautiful, but like, fuck that. All right, we're gonna use a Catrice one on this side because I feel like Catrice will not let me down. We're gonna try that one. Oh yeah. Hi, I'm a slut. Take me to your leader so I can fuck him. <laughs> I'm really great at hand jobs. Nobody cares. This one knows how to get the job done. Oh yeah. Oh, we love that. That's a fucking slut bitch. Oof, I love that. Okay, I'm just gonna just dial it back. I know I went a little crazy, but when don't I ever go crazy? I don't know, I'm like not a fan of this gold one compared to this Mac Daddy. All right, in terms of highlighters, obviously Anastasia, Catrice all the way. So get the Catrice one, don't bother with this one. I mean, it's it's not bad, but like literally the most useless hand job of fucking highlighters here. We want the full shebang, okay? We love ass play on this channel. This is the ass play. <laughs> oh, we forgot to do the lower half of the eye look. Let's fuck that up. Oh wait, what was my point of the story? Oh yeah, so so my mom says to me. Yeah, no, I had to, I had to leave like. <sighs> Bad, bad news bears. And I was like, what happened? You know what, actually, we're gonna use Melt today. We're gonna do something a little bit different, I know. I feel weird about it too. <laughs> no, actually Melt liners are really good as well. So we're gonna use a little bit of this one, Cultra. Oh, that's nice. <gasps> we love that. You know, I thought this was gonna be very similar to Hertz, but it's not, thankfully. It has like a little bit more of like a oranginess to it. Fucking beautiful though. I think out of all the Melt products, I think these are slowly becoming like my favorite things because the eyeshadow palettes are just so hit or miss. So fucking hit or miss. But this is nice though. I love that. So now I just need to get a little bit more of antiquity. I need to wrap this fucking story up. Ooh, should I do a yellow? Yeah, we're gonna do the yellow. Fuck it, we're gonna do something different. It's so different on this channel, yellow. Oh. Okay. So I asked my mom, like, what do you mean you had to fucking run? Like, what the fuck does that mean? Well, you know. No, I don't know. What What do you mean? You know I can't process things like I used to. What? Listen, we had Burger King. 
I could obviously draw the connection. You had Burger King, it upset your stomach. You ran to the bathroom because it was a race with the devil. Like I get it, right? I get it. Even though like she knows that I know exactly what she means, she likes to continue to tell me in graphic detail. <laughs> Everything that just gets expelled. And I don't know if your parents do that or if, if you have a guardian or an aunt or an uncle, maybe just a lovely upstairs neighbor that just likes to tell you the most grossest shit possible. Fucking, if you do, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to fucking hear about it. And so she's, <laughs> she's literally fucking telling me. Which by the way, this color gas lamp is a perfect match for the culture of color. Just saying. And you know, like, I go to Burger King, I get the chicken sandwich, and I know I shouldn't get the chicken sandwich, but I get the chicken sandwich anyway. I'm like, what are you telling me? I'm telling her, I'm like, why are you telling me this? And she like totally ignores that comment, and she goes, I'll be very honest with you, T. As soon as it digests into my stomach, I have about 25 minutes to make it home. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my mother. <laughs> Unfortunately, that day didn't work out for me. Why are you telling me this? You take after me. Just letting you know what your future is gonna look like. And if she only knew, <laughs> literally 12 hours earlier, I was sitting on the toilet, listening to some lady tell me that I need to cut my shit out. I am my mother's daughter. I am. No denying that. My mom, again, just, you know, kept telling me in graphic detail. <laughs> you know, all the fun stuff that I have to look forward to because I'm pretty much a mirror of her. I like that. All right, lip product, lip product, right? Lip product, let's do that. Oh, the other thing too my mom was talking to me about after her, you know, pretty much shitting her pants, her and my stepdad decided to show me their little fish collection that they have and their fishes are really cute. But apparently, according to my stepdad, very incestual because uh, one gave birth and the other ones are trying to have sex with the mother. I was like, what are you even saying? <laughs> I don't know. Oh wait, what am I doing? I need fucking mascara. What am I doing? All right, I'm taking this ColourPop lip pencil and the color beeper. And then I'm gonna go in with this Rare Beauty lipstick. What the fuck is this? Stay Vulnerable. Glossy lip balm in the shade Nearly Neutral. Ooh, I'm giving you 90s fantasy. I'm like in this little gothy kind of fun moment. And last but certainly not least, we're going to blast my face with the, uh, Koki also sent me this hydrating setting spray. Sprayer, a little aggressive. It looks like I just doused my face in water. All right, I mean, listen, I love an aggressive queen, <laughs> but I am just gonna pat it into my face hole. We're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna ignore the hair. Just ignore the hair, don't look at the hair. Cause this is bullshit. You know when your hair just gets too long and you just don't know what to do with it cause everything just kinda falls a certain way and you're just like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I guess that's about it, right? And my mom shit her pants. I think, I think we're good on stories. Anyway. <laughs> this look I really do I think the MVP for me actually is a couple of MVPs I don't think I played with a shitty product other than the rare beauty which you know I mean and not it's not my favorite I like the elf side a little bit more but the antiquity palette though fucked me up like I really really enjoy that I really love the highlighter from Catrice the Anastasia one I don't know like I wanted to like it a little bit more I thought it was going to be more of an actual like I think it might be too dark it might be a hair too dark for me Fuck, that sucks. All right, so that is a meh. I'm not a huge fan of that one. Elf we like. I like the Rare Beauty lip thingy. Love my child. I love Chantikai. Super fucking great. What is really fucking lovely is the Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. This is fucking nice. I still wanna play with it, but this under my under eyes, one, it doesn't feel dry. There's nothing cracked. I don't notice it's settling into fine lines. It has really nice coverage. I will say that there was a little bit of a lighter coverage, so I did have to build it up a little bit, but it's fucking nice though. And I feel like it actually definitely brightened up my under eye area. I'm happy with everything today, with the exception of like the Anastasia and 
the rare beauty. I think I'm a cute little, you know, goth cupcake. I could fuck with this. I'm pleasantly surprised. All right. I will definitely do a review on uh, some of these products or actually let me know down below what you care to see and I will totes do it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, to all my beautiful, wonderful patron bubbies. Thank you so much for keeping this disgusting, filthy, disgusting, even more filthy. Garbage boat afloat, I couldn't do it without you. I love your faces and I'm just gonna gobble you right up. If you wanna know everything that was mentioned in today's video, everything will be in the description box below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.